Hey guys, this is a tutorial that a lot of you requested and it's on how to make these dots here for the pillars for my YouTube channel background. And this is not going to be a complete YouTube channel background tutorial because I've already made one and if you want to see it then just go to my channel background, hit the subscribe button and then look through my videos and find this one, make a YouTube 2.0 channel background and it will teach you everything you need to know. It's got a template that you can download and everything. So just look for that video and of course you can use these uh, dots pillars in the template as well. So let's go to GIMP and start the tutorial. First you need to create a new layer in your layer dialog by clicking on this icon here and then click OK and then go to your ellipse select tool and tick fixed aspect ratio and set it one to one and then we're going to make a perfectly round circle of the size of 30 by 30 or 31 is fine too you can see the size in here and then go to your bucket fill tool and fill it with this color and that's f3783 d3 or any color that you want your dots to be and we're gonna fill it and now go to select none and on, uh, go back to your layer dialog and duplicate this layer and now go to your move tool and move and click on your image once and then move it down with your arrow keys your down arrow keys like this and make sure there's some space in between the two dots now go back to your layer dialog right click on the top layer and click merge down and now in your layer dialog, layer dialog, layer dialog I'm sorry, click on create a duplicate, a duplicate of the layer, this icon here, duplicate it and click on your image again while you're still in your move tool and move it down with your arrow keys again and make sure the space in between is the same and now we can merge this layer, this top layer down again by right clicking on it and clicking merge down. And I'm going to repeat these steps until I've got a really long line of dots and I'm going to pause the video while I do this. So I've got a line of dots here and they're all in one layer because I duplicated and then moved them down and then merged the layers down and duplicated again what I just did. And uh, on this layer, the dots layer, I'm going to go to Scriptful Layer Effects and Bevel and Emboss. And if you don't have Scriptful Layer Effects, Bevel and Emboss, then don't worry. I've got a video on it explaining everything and how to install it and everything. And it's really easy. So just watch that video and then you can continue with this tutorial. So in Bevel and Emboss, you need to change the style to Inner Bevel. And make Soften all the way up to 16 and then click OK and the rounded dots will be created like this and now go back to your layer dialog and again click on your dots layer here and we're going to go back to script full layer effects bevel and emboss and this time the settings will be style outer bevel and soften still on 16 and the rest the same and click ok and it will look like this and we're gonna do we're gonna go back to our dots layer again make sure it's selected and go back to script full layer effects again and bevel and emboss and leave everything the same as just before and then go directions down and again click ok and it's bevel and embossing again and now we're almost done uh, we're going to go to our background layer and click on the eye here to make it invisible and then click on any layer like your dots layer, right click on it and click merge visible layers and then click merge and now make your background layer visible again and make sure you're on your dots layer and go to filters light and shadow sorry, drop shadow and make sure your settings are like this 0, 0, 3 and set the opacity all the way up to 100 and tick allow resizing and click OK and this creates the the grayish uh, sort of smoky effect on the rings and basically now you're done and this is how I made these dots and you can of course put anything on your background and in between but you can use these dots as nice 
pillars on your YouTube background or for anything else you like. If it's just that you wanted to know how I made them and this is how. So I hope you enjoyed this and um, if you're new to watching my videos then maybe you'd like to subscribe and watch my other videos or um, well, maybe not. Um, thank you for watching.